edit citation. Many bibliographic styles, especially author date styles such as APA, require that you customize individual citations to include page numbers or remove author names that have been used in the sentence or paragraph preceding the citation. You will find that if you try to add or delete this information in the document, as I'm doing now, the change comes undone in a few moments. The reason your changes come undone is because the EndNote citations are contained in Microsoft Word field codes. These codes are used for information that must be automatically updated, much like formulas in a spreadsheet. If you look at a spreadsheet, you don't see the formulas in the cells, you see the results of the formulas. When you look at an EndNote citation in Word, you are not seeing the field code, you are seeing the results of the field code, a formatted citation. So to be able to make permanent changes in the citation, I need to be able to change the field codes. Edit citation is the command that will let me do this. When you select the edit citation command, you see a list of the citations in your paper on the left. When you select a citation on the list, you see the details for that EndNote record in the lower part of the window, so you can be sure you are working with the correct reference. If the same record is used multiple times in the paper, it will show up multiple times in the list and each of those citations can be customized separately. For the three citations in my paper, I will make the following edits. For the first citation, I will omit the author's name. For the second citation, I will add extra information to the citation. For the third citation, a grouped citation, I will remove one of the citations from the group and add a different citation to replace it. To remove an author's name from a citation, select the citation from the list on the left then select the Exclude Author option on the right. For my second example, I want to add information to the reference to include See Also before the author's name, the page number, and to indicate that the item is on Table 2 on that page. I start by selecting the reference from the list on the left and type See Also and a blank space into the prefix field. This will come before the author's name in the citation. In the Pages field, I add the page number. Note that the Pages field will only work for bibliographic styles that require page numbers. The Prefix and Suffix fields will always work for in-text citations. In the Suffix field, I add comma Table 2 to further refine where they should look to find the information. You will need to add spaces and punctuation to the prefix and suffix fields if you want them to appear in your citations. For the third citation, I want to replace the reference by Argus in 1991 with the one by Argus in 1993. To do this, I highlight any reference in the citation and select the Insert button. This brings up the Find Citation window. I perform my search for the new reference, then select the Insert button. I now see a grouped reference showing the original two references and the one I just inserted. Highlight the reference to be removed and select the Remove button. Select the OK button to display all the changes you have made. In my first citation, you no longer see the author's name. The second citation has the additional information added. The third citation now shows the 1993 reference by Argus instead of the 1991 reference.